iTunes session was to re replicate a live, completely live jam, which which, which, it, which it was. The arrangements are the same, the, the vibe is the same as what we do live. The rules of this game were that we were to go in there and perform these tunes as if we were at a gig. The only luxury was, was that we, we got two or three goes out perform our tune and then had to pick the best take and then run with that. It's truthful, it's the real deal, and it's us. Where there was one before, now there are many. And we were pretty bad already, sharpened up, you know, after lots of playing. And I guess the recording was, was really a chance to commit some of those live versions that we've done um, over the last year to tape. Basically the day or the day after we arrived back in New Zealand, we were straight back into the studio and did the iTunes session, which was cool actually, because we were still kind of on a roll. Yeah, Brownhead is a beautiful studio. Sort of reminded me a bit like, like most studios, but uh, more like you know, Marmalade in the early days. It's got this amazing Neve console from that's recorded everyone from uh, from the Stones to Jeff Buckley. It's yeah, basically it's the most amazing mixing desk I've seen, probably one of a kind. And just set up in a really awesome way where the band can. Um, see each other and still communicate and still kind of feel like we're all playing together. It's like being on stage, there's no audience apart from the other guys in the band who are through the glass window. Um, but yeah, the vibe was good. The um, first thing I said, of course, is a beautiful grand piano. It's a nice Steinway. I was just quite chuffed with my, uh, my whole keyboard setup. Recording in Roundhead's a bit different from recording down here at Bays. Being in a, in a different studio sort of forces you to just get down to the action straight away. So we chose a set with what had been working on stage in, um, in Europe and Japan. And there was good energy there. It was like, um, didn't really have much time to go back and fix anything. Just rolled the tape and started playing songs. It was just fun to be somewhere different recording. thing for me is that when we normally record here at home in Wellington in, in, in our studio I'm just doing a million things. When I turned up to the iTunes session there was like five people doing what I do. It's quite a lot to give over to another person who doesn't know our sound and stuff but in the end it just all comes down to performance anyway and I think it's important if Moo's there for the performance 100%. You know, he, does, he does a lot. So that's what I really enjoyed about the session was that I could actually just sit down with a beer and a scotch and concentrate on one thing and that was to play some beats and play them well. I think we smashed it. Yeah. I got the bond of an eye.